What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are getting back on this over here. Gonna knock out the tank, gonna knock out the bars, and do the cool little thing I wanna do on the bottom bracket. I'll sh let me just show you. See, it's a cool little decorative piece. This top bar I made kind of flow with that. It does add some strength to the bottom bracket, but I'm not really worried about that. That's just, like I said, I just wanted to fill in the area since we have so much going on back here. I wanted something in here to kind of fill that in. Um, and I think it just adds a nice cool touch. I used to do this to all my frames back in the day and then I quit doing it because I started to tube notch the uh, down tube, which I didn't do before. I used to just come in with a grinder and make it work. Well, now I tube notch it, so it's super strong. This isn't necessary, but I think it looks cool. All right, so I think the next most complicated and time consuming thing is going to be the tank. So we're gonna jump on the tank. Then I think we'll jump on the bars. And then mostly should be good to go other than some finish welding and figuring out if I wanna gusset a few things. But yeah, I think it's coming out sick. Talk time's off, but I make a move Don't think twice now, you got things to prove I'm not playing, I'm not hard to get Cause when I saw you, there was nothing else
that I'm going to use. They're countersunk washers, but yeah, that'll sit in there like that. Um, I may have it sit kind of off the body, do like a little bit of spacing, but look how I'm going to show you how thin this is. Watch what happens after I beat this. tank is so far ready to go we're going to add brackets to mount it all that fun stuff but i think that looks pretty cool i am definitely digging i think it definitely matches the back end here with the bead roll and the tank i think the tank looks pretty sick i uh, love i'm actually really getting into bead rolling i am not a perfection not perfect at it i'm not even okay at it but it does it'll do the trick especially for this rat rod style build so i'm i'm happy with that what do you guys think comment below let me know if you guys are digging the bead roll tank but i do got some washers uh, they're polished they'll go in certain areas wherever i figure out where that's going to be once i make the brackets which we're going to do i'll probably jump on that tomorrow and then or so get the handlebars done probably do that tomorrow but i think we're going to call it a day it came down kind of late i'm gonna go hang out with the kid for a little bit and call it a night see you tomorrow All right, guys, new day. So I am going to put the tank on hold for just a minute. Uh, I want to go ahead. I'm going to need to make headlight brackets for this so that it can bolt to my triple tree and unbolt. I already got the headlight, picked up a headlight. You can get these, you can get these pretty cheap off of Amazon. And if you want to make them yourself, I will link a video in the description for you that I've already done a how-to on how to build these actually picked this one up, I think for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks 
already had an LED. I just went ahead and wired it. The bad part is it does have this hole in here, but I don't care because that's how I'm going to be able to charge it. Nothing's falling out of there. Everything's wire tied, but she's done. Already came hooked up, LED, all that stuff. I want to make some type of mounting bracket. So I think what I'm going to do is take this 16 gauge. I kind of have something drawn out that I want to do. I'll cut it out of that, probably add some holes in there. We're going to take what I think, if I cut this square tube down the middle on both sides so that I have basically L, L metal, whatever you, L, L shaped metal. What, you know what I'm talking about. But if I cut that, it should be able to wrap around the fork and then if I can TIG weld some bracket to the end of it so that it can actually bolt, that would be ideal. But this will be the first time and it's something that I know is going to kind of be tedious. So I'll get it out of the way if it doesn't work. We'll figure out something else, but let's get to work. Hey guys, I am so sorry for the interruption, but if you could, could you click that subscribe button for me? Also, turn on your bell notifications. That way you catch all the content as I post it. And if you want to check out anything early, head over to my Instagram. I post things there probably quicker than you're going to see them here. Thanks guys. So you kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do here. These parts here will connect to the actual fork. These will get TIG welded on. I'll put a hole here for the bolt. We'll have to add some type of, of a piece coming off the back so that it can also bolt and then it'll just sandwich together. I think this will work. Let's get this welded on. Actually, we're gonna test fit this to the actual fork leg because there needs to be a little bit of room to where they can squeeze and it'll actually hold itself because it's squeezing or sandwiching itself to the leg. Can't be on there permanently or you'd never be able to get the legs off of the actual fork and I don't want that so. But it's coming out pretty cool, kind of what I was thinking. Now you got things to prove I'm not playing, I'm not hard to get Cause when I saw you, there was nothing else You got dreams and I got dreams, so let us open up a bottom
we go. Got them. They look actually pretty cool. I'm happy I did those. I may add like a hole. Maybe here. I don't know. I don't want to weaken it. It is only 16 gauge steel, but I think it looks super trick and it's going to look good on there. And once that big, huge monster wheel, which will be in this week, super excited. Talked to Chuck yesterday, which was Monday, that he's shipping the wheel out. Went out today, so I should have it by Friday. Can't wait. Uh, guess I'm going to have to get on the tank now, and that's the next thing to do because once the wheel is here, we need to get it off of here, get everything mounted up, see how it is, how everything needs to be, then break it all back down. We've got to come in here. I'm going to clean every weld out and we're going to use some body. We're going to do some body work because I want to make sure that, you know, this isn't all super wavy. So we are going to do some actual body work to it. We're going to use some filler, bought the good stuff. And then that way everything's super clean. We're going to just grind all the welds down get it going but yeah I'm glad that is out of the way that looks so good the headlights straight it's not all crooked and weird we gotta paint that too but yeah excited all right I'm gonna call it a night see you tomorrow all right we're gonna get on making bars cuz I'm like really procrastinating the tank I love making the tanks. I hate making the brackets to mount the tanks. Super tedious work. I don't really feel like doing it right now. So the next probably most complicated thing to do is gonna be the bars. Should be able to knock these out in like an hour. I want a real good point when they're coming up. I wanna have a, like a really nice point here and then a, a nice curved kickback. I don't know if I'm, how, I don't know yet. We're just gonna let the metal do what it's gonna do. I gotta clean these. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch that and uh, we'll knock these bars out and wheels are going to be in today's Wednesday wheels are going to be in tomorrow uh, a few other parts coming in tomorrow so super excited about that because as soon as the wheels get here we can cut the fork to fit basically get it into a roller and then once I know everything is good to go we got it into a roller I still need to make a shifter mounting point probably going to do it right here so it'll come off and the shifter is going to be hanging out in this area here. And then, I don't know, kind of like it in this area when I'm doing my shifters. Stays out of the way. Uh, you can put it in, you can, while you're sitting here, you can reach, give it a little smacky smack. And then, cool, so I need to, I should probably write this stuff down so that I don't keep going, oh yeah, this, and oh, I got to do that too. So I'm going to write it on the board, but other than that, let's go get it, these, let's get these bars. Let's get the bars started.
guys, so bars are somewhat done. Not completely finished because we gotta chop them down, but I'm gonna wait till I can stick them on the frame to see exactly where they need to go so I have a good, good grip on there. I got old man back and I really don't wanna lean forward anymore to ride. It's, it looks cool, but it's only comfortable for maybe 10 minutes and then you're done. So those came out pretty good, pretty happy with them. They're all straight. They got a cool kick in. They'll sit kind of in that. They'll sit kind of like this right here. But like I said, we're gonna cut it back somewhere in that vicinity. I just wanna get it on the frame first. So wheels will be here tomorrow. Uh, we get the fork on, wheels on. I'm actually gonna take it down, get everything on it, probably flip it over, finish weld it, and then go ahead and start working on the tank because that's the one thing I don't wanna do. <laughs> Working on the tank. I am gonna go ahead and gusset here. And what I'm actually going to do is put the gusset on the inside of this part lip here so that it goes out and comes in. And then I'll put a few, probably some one inch dimple dies in there. We'll do that out of 16 gauge. That should make it plenty strong back there. Just, just to make sure, gives me, it makes me feel fuzzy. So anyway, I'm gonna call it a night, head up, see you tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm going to knock out the shifter post real quick just because it's still in the jig. I need to pull it out of the jig so I can get the finish welding underneath, get it cleaned up, and start working on the tank. Wheels are supposed to be here today. I also ordered some mesh that I want to try to put behind the dimple dies. We're going to see if that's going to work. I don't know. I've done it before uh, just using like an epoxy resin to hold it there, and it worked really well. But the kind that I'm ordering is more for an automotive grill, so I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. Uh, anyway. Let's get that shifter post put on, figure out where it needs to go so we can pull this down, get it finished up. Let's go. on the table the wheels are here we're gonna go get those in just a minute but I want to show you guys I'm gonna do the lawless triple tree and I'm gonna assemble it on the head tube and I want to show you guys how precise and how amazing this product is okay let me grab the triple tree we're gonna stick it on so real quick he come they come with the bottom caps they're gonna come with this the uh, head steering tube they're gonna come with some brackets or the crowns that go on here for your bearings the bearings are also sealed bearings. I got sealed bearings on here and on the top. And I want to show you guys this stuff fits so precisely that I stick this steering tube in here. That's in there now. Look at that room. This is the crown that goes on the top and that's what's going to kind of give that little bit of leeway where the bearing is, but that's on and that's that, that's how good this stuff fits. You did that with that cheap China triple tree, which I, I do use quite a bit, but either way, you do that with one of these triple trees and you're not getting this type of fitment. I didn't even need to cut the steering tube, so this is about a seven inch uh, head tube and I'm using his, I'm also using his headset 
but there's a little crush washer that goes on there that's just like a little little extra something and then you put this top hat on this top hat has an o-ring on there that o-ring has a nice fit like that's tight fit this helps like you don't understand how much this helps when you're putting this on that it's not falling out i'm gonna go in here make sure i'm representing and making sure that that lawless logo is right on the front we're gonna grab the top hat it goes on super simple i won't tighten that down until i put now i did not buy his his uh gooseneck because i already had one uh i rather would use his but because I'm building this for me and I'm trying not to completely kill myself on the budget, I'm gonna use mine, but that'll go on. All right, so what I like to do, and I do this with all of them, I'm gonna get it as straight as I can. I'm not gonna tighten the, either of those yet. I'm gonna add the top hat. He has like, it's a normal top hat with the O-ring, says Lawless on top of there. You also got a spacer if you need it that comes with this. I'm not, I don't need it, I'm not using it. Didn't need it, so that goes in here. Like so, you're gonna tighten down this top one first and that's gonna squeeze everything together where it needs to be. Just need to get this on there to where it squeezes everything together, but there's still some play, but you won't feel, cause you'll feel if your head's set, if you have any play in here, rock it back and forth. Like right now, I can feel a little bit of play. So I'm gonna tighten it until I don't feel that anymore. That's gone now. I don't need it any tighter than that. You crank this down and this isn't gonna steer smoothly. I want it nice and smooth. I wish it didn't do that, but that's more my fault because of where my upper tube is. You can't do much about that. I'd, I'd like it to be fully have full clearance because you take a turn or drop your bike, first thing it does is smack that upper crown into here. So just be careful. That's what I do, but that's on there. I'm not gonna tighten anything else down because I need to put the legs in. We need to go put the tires on the wheel so that I can put both front and back wheel on, get it on the ground, see where the kickstand goes, find out uh, where I need to cut the fork. But we gotta go put tires, tubes, and all that on the wheel. Uh, so I guess we'll go do that right now. All right guys, so these wheels, I get asked like a million times a day, where do I get my wheels from? Guys, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. These are Chuck Z wheels. He has a website, I'll put the website. You can find him on Instagram, find him on TikTok, find him on Facebook, he's all over. He builds amazing wheels. He can do 29s, 26s, 24s. He can do skinnies, fats, whatever you need. This guy has them and this is what he does. Uh, I do want to give him a big thanks. He is sponsoring this build for me, and I do truly appreciate him doing that for me. But I'm not giving you this information just because he sponsored me. Uh, the last wheels that I had on the uh, Ryoko the Dragon bike, I he did the wheels for that one as well. Uh, and he is a big help and another person that's out there basically doing wheels and helping the community because there's not a lot of wheel guys. So, yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm going to get tires on this real quick. And we're going to slap it on the frame. Before you ask, this tire is a 29 by 2.40. That's what that is. Now, I don't have the right tube in here though. I need a three inch tube and it is on order. So I tried to stick a 2.25 in here and you can see what it kind of does. It, it can't push out enough because it's pretty tight, but I needed it on there just to see. Now this is a 26 by three in the front and it works perfectly. So that's if you want that stretch look, a uh, two and a half, by, or a three inch tube will actually pull this out and give me that stretch look I'm going for. But like I said, for testing purposes, I needed it up there because I do also need to do the coaster brake bracket, which I think I'm gonna do right there. This thing looks so sweet. The seat is on its way. Can't wait for that to get here. 
I'll wait for you guys to see it. Dope Leatherworks did an amazing job on the seat. I'm so excited. It should be here uh, probably next week, so next video. I'm going to end it right here. I was going to get this all on the ground and get wheels and do the fork. But you guys have seen me do that before, and I want a little bit of a surprise for next video. So next video, we should be able to get this on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and knock some stuff out off camera that you guys have seen me do a million times, kickstands, things of that nature. But I want to get it into a roller for the next video, so come back. I'll see you next Sunday. Get this in a roller. Get paint started. I did decide, because I'm in such a time crunch, I am not going to go in and clean up every single weld. I did clean up the head tube, uh, which wasn't a big deal, but this area you're not going to see because of a tank, and that's clean, and I don't know, it's just a lot of excess work. And I have been down here a lot this week, almost every night, and I can't always do that. I have a family, so coming down here every night is not real feasible, and I'm just trying to get this done for the show. But guys, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this build? Are you guys digging this thing? Let me know below. Uh, the other last two videos haven't done so well on it. Maybe it's the, maybe it's my thumbnail because it's I don't I don't try to clickbait you on the thumbnail. I guess I'm supposed to do that. I don't know. I think it's dumb. Anyway, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out the uh, links below for Chuck Z Wheels. I'm also gonna put Dope Leatherwork. He only has an Instagram page and a Facebook, but I'm gonna stick that in there if you guys are looking for custom seats. Also, always putting lawless parts down there, as well as my other sponsor, Anchor Lube. I love to thank them. All right, guys, I will see you next Sunday. Again, like, comment, subscribe. See you later.